Hey guys, back for more Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Jeez, uh, I structured these episodes horribly, I will say that. I really don't like the idea of having four, uh, around eight to nine minute clips. When I could have had just three 11 minute clips, but that's just the way it worked out, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, jeez, I hate when it does this. Especially for this chapter, of all chapters. But anyways, we're going to try to get across this muddy river in this uh, video. It shouldn't be too hard. All you got to do is beat up this general, first of all. You got some enemies over there. They won't be too much of a threat. I'll just go ahead and kill this general with a javelin. That sounds like something I would do. Ah, jeez. Uh, not much has been going on lately. As I mentioned in the last video, didn't get a lot of sleep the other night, but... Oh well, I'll get by. I just have less than, well, less than three weeks, and just like two normal weeks with my roommate. And I'm even going home this weekend, so... It's not like I have to spend time with him this weekend or anything, so thankfully, I should be out of here pretty soon. Just gotta get through a few more weeks and I'll be okay. Uh, damn it, Gotri. I wish you would have hit that stupid Pegasus this night. And also, once you cross the muddy river, uh, you apparently get some reinforcements. Here we have the Hawk King, uh, the Hawk's eyes, the Hawk's ears, and then we also have uh, Prince Racin here as well. Uh, they're, all four of them are going to actually join the battle. Uh, I think you know how all of them work as far as uh, Lagoo's units go. But uh, Racin works a little bit differently. Uh, if you've played any other Fire Emblem games, uh, for instance, uh, the first Fire Emblem American game and then uh, Sacred Stones, uh, Racin is what would be the equivalent of a dancer or bard from those games. So whenever you use uh, Racin against another unit, or one of your units, uh, they'll actually get another turn. So he's actually a very handy unit to have, and I might actually... Uh, take them into all the chapters uh, following once I get them. So, yeah, Racin is a very helpful unit. And uh, you pretty much know how uh, bird type lagoos work. Uh, you know their weaknesses, uh, they're weak against arrows and wind magic. So, yeah, you know how all of them work. And I think Racin kind of works the same way. Oh, and uh, Racin also can't attack, so uh, don't really depend on him as a physical force. Uh, otherwise, you'd be solely mistaken. But yeah, they're going to help us out because they noticed that uh, Leanne was actually on Ike's back. Uh, they don't know that it is Leanne, but they, do, they did see a hair in there. So uh, they are actually going to help us out for the rest of this chapter. And a little advice, if you want to get some items, and if you also like want to get some experience... Make sure you rescue all the green units as soon as possible, because they will seriously steal all your kills. That's just what they do. Uh, green units, you can't control them, and they only do what's convenient for them. So, uh, some of these hawks will actually go straight towards Oliver to end the chapter, and you want to prevent that, because uh, Oliver, first of all, will give off a lot of experience. And then he also has a unique spell uh, that's on his uh, person right now that we can actually uh, take once we beat him. And I was actually unaware that you could actually rescue the hawks in this game. In a Radiant Dawn, it's usually impossible to rescue uh, to barn, but in this game, you actually can. So I th always found that kind of weird, but hey, it's helpful, so I'm not going to complain about it. I'm also going to rescue Rolf so I can get him over here. Uh, it would take too much time just to have him walk over all that muddy water. So I just thought I'd go ahead and just drop him over here. It would save me a lot of time in the long run. And for some reason I still have Boyd's animation on. I meant to take it off when I first got Boyd in the last part, but I just forgot about it. And then I also forgot that uh, Moarm and Stefan's, or Stefan's uh, animation is on right now as well. So, we're actually going to see those in a little bit. 
But yeah, rescue at least one of the Hawks and then the Hawk King as soon as possible. Because they will just go straight for the enemy commander and they will defeat him with no problem. So yeah, just make sure you rescue all of them. Uh, Rayson, I'm not sure about Rayson. You could probably not worry about him. Uh, he's not going to get into any in, uh, in harm's way or anything. I don't know if uh, the game programmed it so the enemy won't attack the heron. Because that is technically what Oliver is after right now. So uh, I don't know if they'd actually go and try to kill the heron. But even if they did, I think uh, Rayson tries to stay out of the way regardless. So I think that's a good thing. So yeah, we're going to see a little uh, beast action right here. Yeah, sorry I forgot to turn off the animation. I just kind of totally slipped my mind, actually. And since uh, none of my units that I actually plan to use are over here, I'm just going to go ahead and get the kills with everybody else. Yeah, I realize all you wasting uh, Stefan's vague Cotty, but... Uh, oh well, no big deal. I think we'll actually get to see a critical from him. Yeah, that was pretty cool. A little anticlimactic, but still pretty cool. For a 58% chance of critical, you'd expect something better, but whatever. So yeah, here's when I realized that I had the animations on. So I just went ahead and turned them off. And I'm probably just going to leave all these guys here. No sense in really taking them with me to the other side. It's going to take me forever, and I just want to finish this chapter before any of the hawks kill anybody. I'll just bring uh, Volk over there to give Rise an extra push. And I'll also heal Boyd, I guess. And I think here's where I realized that you can actually rescue the units with uh, your own units, or, when, or we can rescue the hawks with your own units. I really thought they'd be more heavier than what they are, but apparently I was wrong. Dang it, I was hoping Nephany would dodge that, but she didn't. And over here we have a halberdier, a halberdier, and a general completely surrounding Oliver right now. So that's actually a pretty dangerous combination. Thankfully though, uh, I don't think they can actually break in and get to Oliver at this point. Well, now they can since I just killed the halberdier, but yeah, I wasn't thinking when I did that. No big deal, though. I think they're going to go after the general. They'll generally try to leave Oliver alone for the most part until the other three units are gone. But still, you might want to rescue him just to be safe. And I'm apparently out of time, so I'll see you in the next video, guys. Later.